Everybody coming to you live from Vulcan Gas Company here in Austin, Texas for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Give it up for Tony and Austin, Texas, this is a real podcast. You gotta let these listeners at home know. Make some fucking noise. Yeah! Brian Redband's here, hey. everybody. What an exciting treat. We're here for another one of these very fun Kill Tonys here live in Austin, Texas. You guys excited to be here tonight? How you guys doing? Everybody's good. How about a hand for that Kill Tony band, everybody? Brought to you by Screwball Peanut Butter Whiskey. My goodness. That is... uh, That's Dalton joining tonight on saxophone, ladies and gentlemen. His first time at a Kill Tony. That's the great Michael Gonzalez on drums. Matt Muling on guitar. And my friend here, D Madness, on bass guitar, everybody. We're having fun. Very, very exciting. Kill Tony brought to you by the Yellow Rose and the Red Rose, the two best strip clubs in the world just happen to be here in Austin, Texas. SoCo Modern Art Gallery is an art gallery around the corner. We don't have any art here tonight, but that's a new uh, art gallery on Congress Avenue. Check that out. And we're all stuffed up on food by the delicious CM Smokehouse Mm. in Golden Acres. Some real local amazing treats. Incredible stuff. Fun times. Ooh, a bucket of ice is up here. I don't think that's ice. The great Ryan J. Ebelt drawing tonight's episode all the way from Los Angeles, California. And uh, let's just get into it. Uh, But before we start tonight's show, here's a little bit more about the amazing sponsors that made tonight's episode available for you here right now. Hey, y'all. I think we've all learned recently exactly how fragile life is. I mean, even me, Tony Hinchcliffe, could die in perhaps a tragic golf cart accident or maybe I wrap my Corvette around a tree or uh, perhaps my sex swing breaks and I die falling to my death. On that note, it makes sense why people get life insurance, especially term coverage, which is surprisingly affordable. Why not pay a bit each month to protect the ones you love? If you're asking yourself this question, choose Ladder. It's a 100% digital, no doctors, no needles, no paperwork. When you apply for $3 million in coverage or less life insurance, Red Band, we're finally old enough to talk about this. Can you believe it? You just need a few minutes and a phone or a laptop to apply. Ladder's smart algorithms work in real time, so you'll find out instantly if you're approved. If you prefer to talk to a person, their team of licensed agents doesn't work on commission, so they'll help you and not upsell you. No hidden fees, cancel any time, get a full refund if you change your mind in the first 30 days. And ladder policies are issued by insurers with long proven histories of paying claims. They're rated A plus by AM Best. Finally, since life insurance costs more as you age, now's the time to cross it off your Indeed. list. Indeed. I hope that I'm the beneficiary on your life insurance oh, policy, yeah. Red Band, because I got you at the top of my death pool right dollar, now. Dollar bills, y'all. So go to ladderlife.com slash Tony today to see if you're instantly approved. That's L-A-D-D-E-R life.com slash Tony, T-O-N-Y. Ladderlife.com slash Tony. You know, Red Band and I moved to Texas out of California because so many businesses in California were closed. It was crazy seeing all of our favorite places where we lived for over a decade absolutely be uh, boarded up and uh, people not working and the economy fledgling. All of these businesses are now reopening, which means that millions of jobs will need to be filled. So where do these businesses turn to to fill these roles fast? ZipRecruiter. And right now, you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash KillTony. When you post a job on ZipRecruiter, they send your job to over 100 top job sites, giving you access to their network of millions of job seekers. ZipRecruiter's matching technology scans resumes to find qualified candidates 
fast for your open roles and proactively presents them to you. You can easily review recommended candidates and invite your top choices to apply for your job, which encourages them to apply faster. According to ZipRecruiter internal data, jobs where employers invite candidates to apply get two and a half times more candidates. ZipRecruiter's technology is so effective that four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a qualified candidate within the first day. Uh, within the first day, that's crazy. And right now, you can try ZipRecruiter for free at this exclusive web address, ZipRecruiter.com slash KillTony. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash K-I-L-L-T-O-N-Y. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash KillTony. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. Hey, y'all, I absolutely fucking love my Ridge Wallet. You, If you guys don't have one, you should definitely get one. This show is brought to you by Ridge Wallet. And if you don't know, Ridge Wallet is a light, sleek, and industrial metallic wallet. It's strong. It's sturdy. It's built like a goddamn brick. And it's sleek and cool. And you can keep all your credit cards and all your cash in it. Red Band, you have a Ridge Wallet. Oh, yes. I love it, and I'm never going back to a regular clunky wallet. Man, I used to have one of those big wallets that was the size of a Big Mac, and I've tried to eat it a few times. Yay. <laughs> you can't eat that. Don't you eat your wallet, Red Man. I tried. I can't, especially the Ridge wallet. It broke all my teeth. Hey. But now I... <laughs> but now I have this really sleek, awesome wallet. I put, keep it in my front pocket now. I really took out all the garbage that was in my wallet, like old business cards and subway coupons and mm -hmm. crap. And now it's sexy and smooth. I even gave one to my girlfriend, and she loves it. Girls love the Ridge Wallet. Girls love Ridge Wallets. Boys love Ridge Wallets. Get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com slash killtony. That's ridge.com slash, yeah, kill Tony. And use the code kill Tony. Get a Ridge wallet. Don't be an idiot. You guys ready to start tonight's show or what? <laughs> no fart noises tonight, Hi, Red Band. Well. Live from Austin, it's Monday night. That's right, with our special regulars, Hans Kim, William Montgomery, David Lucas, musical guest, the Kill Tony Band, brought to you by delicious screwball peanut butter whiskey. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's guests make some noise from Shane Gillis and Mitch Burrow, everybody. Ooh la la! Shane Gillis is back. Mitch Burrow is back. Yeah! Two of our favorite guests of all time. Shane Gillis has the newest, craziest, best special out on YouTube right now. He shot it here. It's called Live in Austin with Shane Gillis. This is your big return to the city in which you shot that special in, right? Welcome back. Yeah, it's good. I love you. Hell yeah. Look at that. A nice audience. But I believe that guy was Asian, too. So that's extra points right there. Uh, they've come around. Mitch Burrow, you kept us alive during uh, some of the quarantine episodes. One of my great friends from Los Angeles. Comedy store regular. Employee. Everything. How about a hand for my friend Mitch? He's here, everybody. Thank you. Back in Austin, Texas. I, uh, I do want to say it is an honor to be here with both you and Shane. I, I don't think anybody has done as much for the Stop Asian Hate Movement as the two of you. Just All right. really bringing awareness to you the fucking cause. snake. <laughs> We're in the green room. The guy's nice as hell, dude. We get out here, you backstab us. <laughs> awareness is important, and you guys did a lot for the cause. <laughs> We love it. We're having fun. We did. We all went and saw Shang-Chi together uh, before the show. So, uh, <laughs> All right. You guys have been guests on the show before. You guys know how it works. Maybe it's your first time at the show and you don't know. Uh, but comedians get 60 seconds. You know their time is up when you hear the sound of a kitten. 
That means you hope they wrap it up then or else they're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear, which is, which is really just loud and annoying and it stops people from continuing to try to tell jokes if they do that. You figured it out. Yeah, no, I've known the whole time. But uh, thank you. Thank you, Red Band. Um, you guys ready to start tonight's show or what? But before... You know what? Let's start it with a regular instead of going to the bucket. Uh, this guy has been a regular on the show for a few months here in Austin. He was made a regular. He's a favorite to everyone around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a brand new minute from the great Hans Kim, everybody. <laughs> I like women. I think they're very hot. And I mean sexually, not like any other way, but I mean sexually. Um, I don't think I could ever fuck a dude. I've never looked at a beautiful woman and been like, wow, is there a version of her that's bigger and hairier and has less kindness? I'm going to put that in my butthole. Straight as fuck. Please believe me, my dad doesn't. I'm glad women give birth. I feel like if men gave birth, we'd be like, bro, I've been eating so much protein and creatine during my pregnancy. This baby's like 27 pounds already, bro. It's all about those gains of the first trimester. Check out his biceps and the ultrasound. Um, I feel bad for people in relationships because they have to carry their mistakes around with them. I have a cum rag, too. I don't make you memorize its name. <laughs> Thank you. Hans Kim. Wow. Another new minute from Hans Kim. Is that true? Does your dad really think you don't get laid? He doesn't respect me, which I just translate to mean that he thinks I'm gay. So it, it helps me, it motivates me to work harder. Do you ever try to prove to him in any way that you got laid? Do you ever, like, send pictures or anything? <laughs> I think he knows by now. Um, I, I sent him an episode of Kill Tony where I didn't kiss anyone because I didn't... I felt like that was too intimate. I don't want him to think about me fucking. Wow. And he just took that and only listened or watched that one? He didn't do any digging after that? Uh, he's a mathematician, so he probably... He's a nerd. No way. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, what does your mom do for work? She works also at a, a mathematician. <laughs> <laughs> she teaches kids math in school. Oh my god, unbelievable! <laughs> we have him. This is the real Asian superhero, Hans Kim. We have him here on this show. Hans, uh, what else is going on on in life? What's been happening this week with you? Uh, I broke up with my date. I uh, went to San Antonio. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean you broke up with your date? We got into a fight and uh, it got ugly and like we just stopped talking. But then today we Facetime, so what, it was uh, good. what kind of fight? It was like kung fu. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Karate. Uh, there's three of you up here. Uh, <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> I've been hanging out with Hans this week. He has a new DMT pen that he keeps uh, hitting <laughs> continuously. Hans, tell the people about your DMT pen. My DMT pen has a white tip. Um... <laughs> You hit it and you hold it in, and then you hold it in until you start feeling like, ah. <laughs> and that's when it starts. Wow, and that's the creepiest thing I've ever seen you do, is that <laughs> moment. I've never even seen you give off a creepy vibe before. That's until the sound right of then. him coming also, it seems like. <laughs> well, well, what else, Hans? What else is going on? Uh, Anything else exciting you've been wait, making oh, out with? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Are you, are you, you're just ripping DMT? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's doing it a lot. Hans is like a, Hans is a real rock star. He's really taken this status of his on this show. And uh, he's always like at these pool parties in the hills, like every night. I follow. 
<laughs> How do you do it, Hans? What's your secret to keeping such a lively nightlife and uh, <laughs> doing all these drugs? He basically does anything anybody offers to him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that uh, doesn't make people want to kiss me, but it's true. I uh, I do everything and anything, but I, uh, <laughs> I I guess the secret is to like have like a lot of unemployment money saved up and then just. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, we love unemployment money here on Kill Tony. It keeps our uh, fan base alive. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. What else, Hans? You broke up with your date. You been with any other girls this week? No, I, uh, I haven't. I wrote with a female comedian, Holly Johnston, today, but it wasn't like that. <laughs> wow, you dropped her name and everything like that. <laughs> Jeez Louise. She was on here. I, uh, yeah, she's a yeah. good friend. And, uh, you wrote with a... F- we wrote, you, what are you doing? We wrote comedy together. Is that what your motive was? <laughs> <laughs> was that your motive? Were you like, it's time for me to find the best comedic mind I can? Yeah. I know. A lady. (laughs) (laughs) There was nothing else behind that? There was definitely... There was no secret motive? (laughs) Uh, We went to the party last night. We went to a pool party, and um, I did ketamine. Wow. How did that make you feel? Tell us what ketamine's like. Be descriptive. Use a word other than ah. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Two ahs up. Um... A ketamine was like cocaine, like what you think cocaine would be. It was like a fun version of cocaine, like cocaine for kids. So, <laughs> how often, how, how often do you do regular cocaine? <laughs> Probably three times a month. <laughs> three That's times pretty good. a month. Hell yeah. <laughs> And what it's happens? Ki- it's, it's killing a lot of good comedians in LA, but Hans is still here, so that's good. Oh, no, that's not true. Got Asians. that oil money here, baby. <laughs> I've never heard of an Asian overdosing on drugs. Does that even happen? <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, yikes. I didn't realize that positive stereotypes are unacceptable as well. God, Jeez, those cons- people don't get to, they don't go overdose very often. Boo! <laughs> Asian cocaine is just Adderall. Is that it? Yeah. Wow. Performance enhancing drugs. <laughs> All right, Hans. Are you, do you even want to make out with anyone this week? Kind of. <laughs> is there anyone in the audience? If, if, a, if, a, if a normal girl comes up here, you get a I kissed Hans Kim uh, t shirt, the Kill Tony logo on the upper back. Incredible stuff. Uh, so now I must ask, is there a lady out there that wants to come up and uh, make out with Hans Kim real quick? If you want to, you can. You get a shirt. Hans Kim, li- Hans Kim likes making out with girls, so I let him live his dreams every week. For a while there, we had uh, too many strippers coming down. Uh, and then I found out on the show that uh, they get free. What was it? They have to. They, they don't have to pay their house fees. Usually, strippers have to pay ten percent to the club. <laughs> but it turns out if you make out with Hans Kim, you don't have to give ten percent to the <laughs> strip club that you work at. These lips are worth money. Come on, there must be some lady out there that wants to come up and give Hans Kim a big kiss. Is there a, a hero out there in the audience tonight? Everybody loves this segment of the show. All right. Who among you is dumb enough to have this on the internet forever? (laughs) Well, Hans, I don't know, dude. Man, this this has to hurt a little bit, dude. (laughs) Hans, how do you how how do you feel knowing that your run of making out with random chicks every Monday is coming to an end right now? Uh, I'm kind of (laughs) relieved. Oh shit! What is this? Whoa! Wow! Holy shit! Hey! Look at that! (laughs) Wow, and he hands her the mic right away, straight to second base with this one. Look at that! (laughs) Wow! Okay, I didn't know Oompa Loompas had nurses, but this is so exciting. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You're an American hero. You came up and made out with Hans. Thanks. What's what's your name? Bella. Bella. Here. Bella. When did your dad die? 
I have a lot of daddy issue jokes. I just wanted a 60 second set. <laughs> I thought you said no strippers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bella, um, uh, have you ever made out with an Asian man before? I actually honestly haven't. How did that feel? How did it feel? Uh, is there anything different or? Uh, Felt like I'm gonna have to see him like three times a week for the next. <laughs> like that's a lot. We do comedy together, so I was like, why not? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Give the microphone back to Hans. <laughs> now that I know you're a comedian, let's give it back to uh, let's give it back to old little Hansy over here. Uh, Hans, so, you, so you've been working with her for weeks, months. Months. And uh, you guys see each other regularly. How, yeah. how did it make you feel making out with her? It was hotter. <laughs> hotter, than, hotter than what? Like there's something on the line. Like <laughs> this could go wrong. This could go bad. <laughs> yeah, you might end up in a relationship. <laughs> you got that nine month law now in Texas also. You need to like really think about what the fuck are you talking about? The abortion law. Oh, okay. <laughs> what are you months. guys talking about? What are you guys having your own little side conversation there about? Like, why am I always making out with guys on this show the second time? Oh, really? Because, You've yeah. done this before? I get bored in the cow pen, so I'm just like, you know. Wow. <laughs> Did they call it a cow pen? Is that what that is? Is that a thing? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I always heard, I thought, I heard bullpen before. I didn't know a cow pen was the thing that might be that might be a texas thing too yeah, it's gender inclusive all right yeah. i like it yeah. that's true <laughs> i love it well thank you bella thank you hans let's keep the show moving oh you guys making all right hans Han, <laughs> he didn't know what to do with his hans everybody one more time for hans kim can't help it i can't help myself Becoming people a people of Shay Z are here, one of my favorite restaurants in town. What? Is it becoming a fetish to you to uh, watch Hans make out with women now? Yeah, it's a real <laughs> fetish. Yes, indeed. Nothing gets me off more than watching an Asian man awkwardly make out with a stranger. You're right. I just, I don't know. Ever since I started it, I just... All right, make some noise for Brianna Switchler, everybody. Here we go. The show begins. We don't know these people. A complete stranger out of the bucket. Here she comes, everyone. I believe this is her first time on this show. Make some noise one more time for Brianna Switchlin. Whew, shit, hello. Uh, this is really awkward. I actually wasn't expecting to come up here, and I hate to break it to you all. I'm not a comedian. Uh, I'm just a... Uh, queer black woman who aspires to the same status and privilege as white men. So I figured I'd come up here and make an ass of myself because uh, it seemed to work for everybody else up here. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really just kind of doing this to survive. You can kind of think of me as like a sex worker, right? You know, think of this as me giving you a really lame hand job and spitting in my hand and just jerking it real slow. You, you wouldn't be mad if I finish, uh, but you're kind of hoping that I'd finish a little bit quicker. <laughs> Speaking of white people, you know, uh, you know how they say white people can't cook? I, I beg to differ, because white people really know their way around a casserole. You look like you like mayo. Do you like mayo? No? Are you sure? You ever tried to use it as lube? No? Well, I'm going to leave you all with that. Yikes! Okay, there you go. Brianna Switchler. That's a bear. That happens if that, what you did happens. Happens. That's what happens. Hi, not Brianna. Not Welcome it. to the show. Thank Is you. everything you said true? You're I'm, not a comedian? I, no, I'm not. I'm friends with comedians, and I happen to have a somewhat decent sense of humor. Right, of yeah. course. Absolutely. But it didn't translate. <laughs> It just didn't. I'm aware. <laughs> that happens. That's all right. <laughs> what made you want to sign up tonight? I figured, you know, why not, why not shoot my shot, right? Uh-huh. Attack I, the patriarchy. Yeah. This is, this is really a protest. Yeah. 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 We can tell. Yeah. yeah. 
I mean, I'm sure you can with your Bass Pro Shop hat, so. <laughs> yeah, Ooh. I just said I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> Bud Light, too. Fuck yeah. yeah. It's clear you're not a fan. <laughs> oh, I'm a fan. <laughs> Brianna, do you really not like white people? I'm half white, actually. No. Surprise, surprise. I know. <laughs> you don't know. say, clearly white lady. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't see my fanny pack? You can tell she's half white because she thought the Latina chick was white as well. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. It's like, she's clearly Mexican as shit. Yeah. Yeah, that lady's black as hell. <laughs> Mexican people only put mayo on their corn. It's just white passing. <laughs> it's very weird. Very interesting. Uh, Which yeah. might be Luke. <laughs> yeah. Brianna, so yes. you seem like a, a walking lawsuit on this show. Uh, like, I mean, it really is, just seems like a straight-up setup, so I'm not really going to go that deep with you. Normally, are you I, sure? Normally, as a vampire, I feed off of comedians that are looking to thrive and, and make the most of an opportunity on a show like this. Yeah, you're wasting people's time that actually care about this, you know? <laughs> wow, thank you. Serious red band, everybody. <laughs> nothing, nothing makes me happier than a serious red band. <laughs> I love that. Nothing riles them up. So, Brianna, is there anything, uh, anything uh, fun about you, like that we might find interesting on a live podcast, like an interview? Any fun facts about you that, like, your, like, any hobbies or anything cool that you're into? Just, just eating ass, man. That's it. Are you talking about your comedy act again? Yeah. <laughs> Boom. All right, we're gonna. A lot of comedians signed up for the chance to do uh, to do a minute here, so we're just gonna keep it moving. If that's all right with you, Brianna, it's all right you with good? me, man. Thank you. All right, Brianna, <laughs> switch, you, Brianna. There, everybody. Come back again. Try it again. Prepare next time, Brianna. Which one of her parents does she hate? That's what I want to know. What was that casserole joke? Why people make casserole? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what's wrong with that? Who doesn't love a... Make some noise for casserole, people. Hey, fuck seasoning. Am I right? (laughs) Fuck seasoning. (laughs) Salt and pepper, baby. That's it. Just salt. (laughs) Michael Mandragon. Wow, what a cool name. Michael Mandragon. Okay, here we go. He's next. Michael Mandragon, everybody. One more time for Michael. How's it going? Cool. My girlfriend's bulimic, so I bought a bidet. That way, whenever she throws up, she can wash her mouth out right there. Believe it or not, she hates that joke. <laughs> but she's not real, so it's okay. I told that joke and some woman called me a misogynist. She was kind of ugly, so it didn't really affect me. <laughs> and I don't know what a, God damn it. I don't know what a misogynist is. That's someone who likes massages. <laughs> A little bit of exciting news. My girlfriend got hit by a bus. (laughs) Never mind. (laughs) Michael Mandragon. Look at that. (laughs) Yeah, Mitch wants to hear the end of the joke. Uh, Your girlfriend got hit by a bus this week. Everything rides on the end of this joke now. We had great, great momentum rolling out, but Mitch wants to throw you under the, uh, throw, do, basically do to you what happened to your girlfriend. Uh, okay. Go ahead, Michael. A little bit of exciting news. <laughs> <laughs> My girlfriend got hit by a bus. <laughs> yeah, thank God. I was not ready to be a father. 
Boom. Michael Mandragon. Wow. Look at you. Absolutely killing on the show. Basically the complete opposite of Brianna before him. You are, I bet, the exact type of white guy that she hates more than anybody. Someone, someone that just comes up and does the job. <laughs> Michael, I love you, man. How old are you? Uh, I'm 26. Look at you. you been, how long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, since April 21st. Wow, you just started. Damn. Jeez Louise. What do you, how do you write? What do you do? You, like, uh, you seem like you have uh, some real serial killer vibes. <laughs> like, uh, uh, I get that a lot, but no. Uh, yeah. I, hey, man, you're doing great. Relax. You are shaking a lot right now, and it's making me nervous. I think, I don't think it was that good. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I think I think Brianna's right about <laughs> <laughs> I think just you guys saw a white guy and you were all like oh. I'm I'm with Brianna <laughs> Say her name <laughs> Oh my God, that is hilarious. Michael, what have you been doing with your life all the way up until April 21st or whatever? What have you, what have you been doing? I just quit H-E-B. Wow. Hi. Where were you, a cashier? I was a personal shopper. Wow. I like how you looked around for a big applause there. Uh, you really thought the place was <laughs> going to go crazy on that one. What? What is a personal shopper? I think people place their H-E-B online orders, and then you go around, and uh, you know where everything is. It's basically like you get to play supermarket sweep all day long. Basically. <laughs> Just you out there running around. How about with your, uh, the rest of your life? you have any hobbies or fun things that you like to do? You seem like the kind of guy, the guy that likes to go out, play Parcheesi with the strangers out on a, at a park. Uh, I like to play chess. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I was That's close. obvious. What else? What else? You kind of you kind of look like a young Goebbels. <laughs> oh, very good. Very good World War II reference. That is a uh, little jo little Joey, little little Joey Gobes. Uh, Michael, what else about you? There must be something we're missing. Uh, Fun stuff other than chess and stand up. Uh, I like to read, watch TV. You know, hell yeah. What you do you like to read? Uh, I just read a book about the Lakers. <laughs> <laughs> ESPN the magazine, I believe that was. Uh, I love it. You you live with your parents? You have a pretty sheltered life. I live with my parents. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's the vibe I'm getting. I'm, my my fucking power is heightening here. Uh, you live with your parents. They're pretty, uh, pretty tough cookies, right? Military father, school teacher mom. No, but uh, 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 okay. they're they're pretty uh, strict, yeah. But. Yeah, in what ways? Can you give us an example of like something you can't believe that they still make you do, or something like that, or can't do, or curfew, or something? I could tell in the viciousness of your jokes is why uh, I'm able to tell this is because you write like a person who's like escaping from something. <laughs> like super religion. I, or is it super yeah. religion? Yeah, like they keep you super in the basement. Religion. They're like, you can go out for two hours on Monday between 8 and 10. That's it. <laughs> and you better not get up to any ruckus. And you're yeah. out here just like fucking. What, uh, <laughs> what do you do in the shadows, you fucking vampire? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're 26, so do you put a sock on the door to let your mom know you're jerking off, or what? <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Do you really? No, I was just trying to go along with what you said. <laughs> what is it like? You have you ever gotten caught masturbating at home? Yes, I have. What was that like? Can you can you describe to us what that moment was? Did you like? turn into a bat? <laughs> and escape the room. <laughs> Count Wacula. <laughs> there we go. Here we go. I'm, I'm fired up. 
Tell us more about you. What, 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 any answers to those? Do you turn into a bat? No. Uh, what, how did they catch you? What, what room were you in? What was going on? You're in the kitchen, just fucking <laughs> <Dungeon>. getting down. <laughs> You're in the crypt. <laughs> I was just in my room, and she walked in, and I said, get out. Wow. <laughs> she just straight up walks into your room when the door is closed? Yeah. What type of uh, what type of position were you in? Were you was your uh, were you perhaps bridging on your neck or something like that, like a uh... doggy style? Uh, no, I was just in bed. Is that how you said it though? Were you just like get out? Yeah. Because it sort of seems like you're sort of inviting her for uh... <laughs> get out unless you want to do something. <laughs> Come on, it's his mother. I'm kidding. Yeah, she brought. Is she does she follow those rules? Did you have to invite her in? <laughs> <laughs> you know a lot about vampires, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, suspiciously large amount. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. I love What's that it. vampire hunter's name? Van Helsing? <laughs> I knew you'd know it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Abraham Lincoln? <laughs> ah, what do you think is the most vampire-like thing about you? You know us. By the way, his name is Michael Mandragon. I mean, Man- Mandragon. That, that's a pretty vampire-y name, dude. It's, uh, it's Mondragon, but I'm, my, my handwriting's bad. But it's probably my face. It's probably Vaughn. Von Dragon. <laughs> Michael Von Dragon. Oh, <laughs> hilarious. Are these lights too bright for you? Is that why you're shaking right now? <laughs> I swear, I swear. Hell yeah. <laughs> Pretty fast metabolism. Do you eat a lot? <laughs> Yeah, when's the last time you've fed? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we don't need the goblin laugh. Get out of here. That, that lady's crazy. Um, okay, anything else, Michael? I feel like I could keep you up here forever and... Uh, no, I, just a uh, big fan of uh, all y'all guys, and uh, thanks for having me on. Absolutely oh. hilarious minute. Come back. Yeah. Thank here, you. Michael, job. here, have one of those. You can write your verses take in that, there. Take that home with you. D- don't, don't let your parents find that. Well, son, I found this leather book under your bed, and then I Googled what it was, and a bunch of slurs came up. All right. We're having fun. Make some noise for Colin O'Mara, everyone. Colin O'Mara, right out of the bucket. Who are you going to call? Man, that sax sounds good, Tony. Yeah, it does. Oh, wow. Colin O'Mara, everybody. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I drove down here about a month ago from outside of Philly. I, uh, I saw a God Hates Gay sign. As soon as I got to Texas, I was like, I'm home. You know, figured it out. <laughs> no, I never got that because I was like, if anybody's gay, like, isn't it God? You know what I'm talking about? Like, hear me out. He hangs out with a bunch of dudes all the time, wearing silk white robes and shit, calls them as angels. That's a little suspect if you ask me, you know? <laughs> but the real kick is, I think he gathered all the angels around one day and he said, fellas, listen, I've decided I want to have a kid. And they were like, go right ahead, Yahweh. Find the right girl, make it happen, you know? He said, ah, not really my style, you know what I mean? I want a virgin to have my kid. They were like, part of me? He said, Gabriel, I found the right one. I want you to go down there, tell the details. Gay flies on down. He said, Mayor Barry, listen, God wants you to have his kid, but don't worry, he doesn't even have sex with you. She said, good, I'm 12 years old. (laughs) He said, baby, we're Catholics. We don't give a fuck about that. You know what I'm talking about? (laughs) That's it. Colin O'Mara. 
Colin, you were just on the show, right? I was. A couple two, weeks ago? Two weeks ago. It's Aaron, like, right now, simultaneously. Yeah, what happened? What ha- Remind everybody what happened during that episode. Uh, I came up, you asked me what I like to do, and I said I like to drink, and then I drank, like, five shots of Jameson on stage. Yeah. Right. right. That's right. And then the rest of the night, all the fans kept behind me, Jameson. It was the best day of my entire goddamn life. I was like, oh, shit. It was really like, was. It's Christmas. And I saw him a couple hours later during the uh, <laughs> after party thing, and fucking this guy, more sober than anybody else in yeah. the room. You came up to me because a fan bought me another five shots of Jameson, and your reaction was, you were like, do you need like a hotel room? And I was like, yeah. Tony, I'm driving. I told you. And you were like, you didn't really drive. Ah, Wait, I, that's you, tried not to, true, you right? tried to get him a hotel room? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I took a. I mean, yeah, I was going to make sure that he didn't <laughs> drive home uh, yeah, after yeah, the yeah, fucking. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he was my worst. You, yeah. you wanted him to drive into your butt. Yeah. <laughs> that's what it was. I was going to walk him penis. over. I was yeah. going to walk him over to the hotel personally <laughs> and get him that room. Well, that's what I said. You said you want a hotel. I was like, Tony, how about an Uber? I was like, that's the first reaction. You were like, hotel, my man. And I was Maybe like, you the? were drunker than uh, <laughs> I remember. Uh, no, yeah, I love it. That's my thing, man. So, Colin, do you drink like that every night? It's become a problem since I quit my job, for sure. Oh yeah, it's it's an issue. I've been on like a two week bender, and there's no end in sight. It's wow. Oh yeah, you gotta pawn some of this dumb jewelry. Yeah, that's all I got. It's all I no, got. Get rid of it. What are you doing? Why are you doing that? You know how hard it is to tell the homeless people in the street that I don't have any money on me. Like the fuck is that? Yeah, like, what, you look that like shit? a Persian. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Knock it off. You know something? I think did, you went to Westchester. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I went to Westchester. Yeah, I was gonna yeah, ask. Saw I, your shirt. Yeah, I dropped out. Yeah, yeah. obviously. Oh yeah. 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 All okay. right, all right. Well, that sounds like up. you guys have your own uh, spinoff podcast. Don't be jealous. Works over there. Yeah. Don't be jealous, Tony, because you wouldn't go to the hotel with you. The boy is mine. <laughs> the boy is mine. The boy is mine. <laughs> I'll take care of you. I'll take care of you. Oh, come oh. on. He's not even my type. Uh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Colin, so what else is interesting about you? Uh, you know, um, well, like I said, the drinking thing's pretty much a problem. I told my mom, she's a big liberal. Alex Jones was the guest when I was on two weeks ago. Uh-huh. She was real excited for me. She was like, who is the guest? And I said, Alex Jones. How did your mom even know we have guests on this show? I told her. I told her, I was like, hey, I got on oh. the show last night, yada, yada. Right. said, guest is Alex Jones. She said, who's Alex Jones? And I was like, don't Google him. I was like, don't yeah. look him up. Like, she's right. very big into the masks and everything. So I was like, it's not. Because I think when I was on stage, he might have said something. He was like, Fauci's fucking gay. And I was like, fuck yeah, dude. And then right. She's going to be like, Texas has changed you. My, my boy. Like, what happened? You know? You were more liberal b- before? Uh, I've never voted before. Uh, I don't really like, pay attention. Yeah, I don't vote. Yeah. I'll vote like if there's a president I'd like to have a drink with. Like, you, that's my philosophy. And it's I, just, I don't think you should ever vote. I probably never will. Yeah, I probably, it's just... Yeah. I, was, I don't think you want my vote. That's, I, what I'm like. that's right. Regardless of what side you're on. Other than drinking, Colin, do you have any special skills or talents? Uh, believe it or not, I used to actually be very good in school. Uh, that didn't go out very well. I, I'm like, I'm actually a smart kid. Like, like what? To, like what in school were you good uh, at? Like English. Like I got like a five on like the AP English exams. Wait, you were in AP in high school? <laughs> yeah. Like whoa. Yeah. I didn't know we had a goddamn Albert Einstein up here. <laughs> This is in Philly, a Philly high school. Uh, like I, I'm in the suburbs. Like I'm not. Wow. Deep, this is, this is what this is what the valedictorians are like <laughs> in Philadelphia. Uh, <laughs> no, I didn't even. I hey, didn't what's even, up? I just want to thank everybody, especially God. <laughs> even though we be wearing like robes with other dudes and shit. You know, I almost didn't do that joke tonight because like that used to be like my big joke when I would do shows in Philly or New York and everything. And then I got to Texas and everyone was like, "Don't." Make fun of the Lord. And I was like, all right, shit. And I was like, this ain't going well. That's but I so did weird. It. That is weird. Anyway, where the fuck were you performing? Uh, like Taylor, Texas? <laughs> where were you? Uh, like Elgin? Where were you in Philly? Uh, like, I'm originally from Coatesville, Pennsylvania. No, I mean, where'd you perform? Like, oh, like Helium. Like, I, oh, I, I was nice. going to say, yeah, like, yeah, Helium and then all around and then The Stand. It's exciting. In New York and shit like that. It's exciting yeah. to know that Helium has an open mic night. That is very no, exciting. I did the, yeah, they, they did. It's exciting I, for me and it's exciting for Colin. No, oh, well, that's very good. Yeah. Colin, I like your rings. Thank you. Yeah. Why do you have th- rings? Yeah, are those real? Uh, well, yeah, that one's my family crest and that my dad. Your family crest? Yeah, it's my family crest. You guys, crest. knights? Nah, <laughs> who cares about your family crest? We're Irish and shit, you know? What You're Irish. It? What are you doing with jewelry? I know. This is just how I look. That's what we talked about last time. Why are you time, acting like, like a wop, dude? Be Irish. <laughs> I, know, I, just, I can't help it. I can't how help it. How dare you use a word like that about my people? <laughs> 
I'm going to really play victim about this one. Yeah. No, I drink like I'm Irish. Other than that, like I said, yeah, that's what we talked about last time. Was like, yeah, your family crest, face. though. Let's talk about it. Like, what type yeah. of family, what type of uh, ge- generational power are you coming from? Your father uh, in uh, Philly, what does he do for work? Uh, he's dead. Um, <laughs> he's dead? Yeah, he he's died. A, he's a dead. Yeah, he's one of the dead ones. He died, he died fighting dragons? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, no. Valiantly? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's much. No, he. Uh, oh, it's cancer. Yeah. Son, take my <laughs> ring. <laughs> it has the crest of thy family on it. There can only be one. It is your ring now. What is on the crest? Like a, a, uh, a burning cross? It's uh, like it's like half lions. Like <laughs> it's just like lions and like seashells and shit. And they're like riffles and did, shit. How, how did really, your dad die? How did he die? What uh, he he uh, killed himself. Not oh. as fun to talk about. Jesus uh, Christ, man. That's, yeah, I didn't. Hey, you. you <laughs> wow. How old were you when he did this? Uh, 18. Oh, my God. That's like the worst stage ever. It was for my that. first week of college at Westchester. Yeah. So, oh, uh, man. Rams up. <laughs> that's why you dropped yeah. out. No, I dropped out two years later when I realized uh, I wasn't going to graduate. How did he uh, kill himself? Did he? Uh, the old fashioned way. You know what I mean? Little... Drowning himself in the ocean? That's why the seashells are on there? <laughs> Hold no, on. No, it was, uh, <laughs> how, how it was a gun. Oh. Yeah. Man's way out, I guess. You know. Okay. Yeah. Was he? <laughs> <laughs> was were him and your mama already separated during that? Or no, no, no. Is, is you this, have younger siblings. Is no, this I'm the, triggering? I'm the youngest. I'm the youngest. Is this triggering? No, to you? not at all. I'm completely over it. I started no, doing a joke. No, about Mitch. It now. Unfortunately, this isn't the kind of gun his dad used to actually, shoot him. So. Actually, very similar. It was like a. He no. died by flag through throat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, it's I'm fun not that you can laugh about it, though. It's fun that I we do. can laugh about it. I've started it. doing jokes about it now. When I was in New York, like when it, it was too close to it, I started sure. doing a joke. Everyone just got real upset. And right, uh, right. I would just walk off stage and they would just pat me on the back. And right. Like, yeah, you got to be careful when you're starting out. You, you really so shoot, was, shoot yourself in the everything foot. Everything was good. <laughs> <laughs> everything, it was just, he got it out of the blue. Ah, I mean,. It wasn't necessarily out of the blue, like, you know, like... Did you find him? No, I wasn't home. I was, I was visiting friends at Penn State. <laughs> um, oh, man. Okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and then I just got a call from my uncle who lives in Boston at 9 a.m. I was with a woman, and I was like, this is the best day of my life. And it was 9 a.m. My uncle from Boston called, and I was like, if it's important, he'll call back. And then uh, he called back right away, and I was like, okay, something bad happened, <laughs> because Boston's eight hours from where I live. So I was like... And then, yeah. And you were with a girl for the first time? Is that what you said? N- not the first time, but... Uh, oh, yeah. what a wild one night saying that would be for her. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, All was a the guy's like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, fuck. <laughs> Some lady like... Oh. Yeah. No, she offered to Uber me back home for like $200, and I was like, I don't need... You're probably she didn't offer you a hotel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely perfect. That would have given you would have gotten some rest. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I did go to a hotel because we couldn't go home. So wow. We went to a hotel. Damn. Really diving deep now. Yeah, getting into it. How's wow. your mom? Uh, she's doing great now. She started dating a few years. Ago. She has COVID right now. Actually, I forgot. Oh, yeah, she's actually shit. not doing well at all. She's, wow. No, I think she's, she's, name's not Tony, is it? What? Well, it just it would be ironic. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. She uh, a few years later. She, yeah, she is doing well. She, I think she just beat it. Like today, she's doing good. She's not going to die. That's she was good. in her sixties though. So you I was, don't have like, any missed worried. calls from your uncle, do you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're never going to believe this one, up. kid. How bad would that be? I go, fucking, yeah. Dude. Oh, your, did your uncle have a Boston accent? He, well, no. Oh, he was like, much. your dad. St- <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to believe this, your father. <laughs> <laughs> the worst way to find yeah, out. The worst accent. Your, one of your parents is dead is through a Bostonian down, accent. Your father. <laughs> what, what happened to dad? Yeah. Your father. <laughs> Why do you keep stopping when you say father? <laughs> well, that's as far as I want to go. I don't want to <laughs> rub salt in the very clearly open wound of this man. Now, like I said, it's been four years, you know, like, you know. Oh, yeah, you're totally over it, dude. <laughs> yeah, very clearly. Right. I'm thriving. Uh, that's devastating stuff. 
Yeah, for sure. But wow. <laughs> I don't want to joke with you right now. But you're out here. You're having fun. I've seen you around the fucking the scene the last couple of weeks out yeah, here doing time. jokes. You're doing it. He yeah. saw you. I know. Well, yeah, I was here two weeks ago, guys. I was fucking yeah. But yeah, like I told you, yeah, I quit my job two weeks ago, and it's I've been looking. Has not been going well at all. Uh, you know. So what's what's your plan? What what are you gonna do? Uh, I I got a new credit card, so I recently just got five thousand dollars. You know what I mean? Shit. Wow. Yeah. And I'm just going to keep opening new credit cards until I follow in my dad's footsteps. There oh, you okay. go. You said it. You <laughs> said it so that I didn't have to. We all saw that one coming. Yeah. No, I actually, yeah, I'm, I'm extremely broke. It's a problem. So what are you going to do? Uh, I've started, like, uh, last time we talked about it, I tried to sign up for DoorDash, and they just said no because my last name had an apostrophe. What about like, Uber Eats, Postmates, Uber Eats. Favor? No, I did Uber Eats, and, uh, bro, like, I'll get, like, $3, like, a delivery. And I'm like, this is fucking ridiculous. Like, I don't yeah, know what to do. Yeah, you can just eat it. You can just eat the I food. I don't. I swear to God, I did. I already, I already gave up. I got, like, a lemonade you can from just Popeyes, sign up once and, and just I just was like, meal. I'm not doing this. And then the next time I went, I, I, I asked, I said, delivery for Catherine. And they were like, we never got it. And I just deleted the app. I was like, I'm not handling What about this. waiting for, ta- like, waiting on tables? There's so many restaurants I out did. here that need servers. And that's the best way to make money in this fucking I d- city. I did apply to one place. I applied there to one go. place. There you go. This busboy's clapping yeah. for you over here. Look at and, that. Uh, yeah. Well, a bunch of comics in town work at a restaurant. And they were like, apply. And then I applied. And they were like, we'll call you tomorrow. And uh, they didn't call. And they were like, just call them back. And I called them back. And they're like, we'll have you in for training tomorrow. We'll call. And they've just, they just haven't. So they just like, never called you. Just, yeah. like, just like your dad. Okay, yeah. you guys He's made it weird, uncle, yeah. not me. Say. He signed up for it, people. I was gonna say, yeah, walked into it, but yeah, yeah, basically. But um, you know, I'll figure it out. You know. Yeah, you we know what? Red Band has a good idea. We're gonna buy you some shots. Yeah. Uh, oh uh, fuck yeah! Oh thank you. Oh, That's a great God. idea. If you're gonna take a shot to the head, you're not gonna do it like your father. Okay? All right. All right. Yeah. So there yeah. you go. We're gonna buy you a drink. You go over there. There goes Colin O'Mara, thank everybody. You guys We're so gonna much. keep it moving. Yeah. Let's get another regular up here. What do you guys say, huh? All the way from Los Angeles, California. This guy been visiting a couple weeks out of every month. It's always great to have him. He's a fucking beast of a comedian. Unbelievable roaster. Make some noise for the great David Lucas, everybody. Here he is. Uh, now is the best time to be black. The best time. This is the best time to be black. It's almost illegal to be a straight white male right now. It's, I love being black. It's the best shit, man. Like I feel like I can slap a white baby right now. That's. I be hearing babies cry on the airplane. I'm like, nigga, you got one more sniffle. Before I choke the fuck out of you, man. I think I finally found out why relationships don't work. And it's because women believe too much in that love language bullshit. Like, I hate going on dates and girls are like, what's your love language? Mine is words of affirmation. And acts of service. What's yours? Sucking dick, bitch. That's my fucking love language, some head. How about that? How about I forcefully take my dick and shove it to the back of your throat? Is that an act of service enough for your ass? That's... All right, man. Thank y'all. Fuck yeah. David Lucas up here yeah. showing how it's done. A new minute every week. Yeah. Back again. Doing yeah. it. Welcome back, David Lucas. What's up, Tony? What you been up to? Shit. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that jacket ugly as fuck, bro. Oh, come on. Come on, David. That's, That's it, nigga. You look like a 1960 gay taxi cab. Oh, <laughs> son of a bitch. Hey, <laughs> they... they <laughs> They let some cows pee on your jacket before you put it on. Oh, come on. That one, that one hurt a little bit. That shit bit. ugly, bro. <laughs> well, you got a new t-shirt there you squoze into tonight, yeah, huh? Yeah, 
Look at that. <laughs> they didn't have it the one size bigger like you need it. <laughs> Right, you just That's mad because your jacket looked like the inside of a urinal. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> How do you know what the inside of a urinal looks like? I actually go to the men's restroom. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh. <laughs> it's crazy. It's unbelievable. It's he got me. <laughs> For sure. That's a good men's restroom joke. Without a doubt. Red Band reminded me after you said that joke, you only go to the men's room for the urinal cake. <laughs> it's a red band joke. It's good. So you get <laughs> You go to the women's restroom for the free toilet seat covers. I actually, I actually do do that. Uh, <laughs> what, how do you use a rat? Do you really ever go to the bathroom in like a public restroom? What's that like for you? I don't take a shit there, but I piss in public restrooms. Yeah. I like to be comfortable when I'm shitting like shoes and socks off. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can take your shoes and socks off in a public restroom. Oh, no, bro. <laughs> You got to wear shoes and socks to go into the establishment, but you can take them off once you get inside. <laughs> Bitch, we from the front, the same state, and that's the most Georgia shit you ever said, bro. <laughs> that's the most Georgia. You guys are both from Georgia, and you're both shaped like that. That is worth <laughs> noting. That is... I didn't, Tom- know, I didn't know they said that peach is the fruit, because that's what everybody's shaped like. But. Oh. By the, if we were going by the shape of states, you'd be from Florida. Ah, oh, fuck. Because I love the panhandle. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Where you been lately? What have you been doing? I went fishing today, bro. Oh, uh, shit. Typical polar bear shit to do. <laughs> <laughs> What'd what? you catch? Diabetes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shut the fuck up, dude. Shut hey, the fuck Shane. Up. <laughs> you up here looking like a sunburned sea turtle. <laughs> So, you, they don't uh, have to make sense. That's the thing. Uh-uh. No, they don't. Well, 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 he weird, usually bro. says the N word after it, and it yeah, gets a well. lot more laughs. I'm surprised. It's, it's he, a funny. It's funny. He changed the structure. <laughs> I can't say the N word that much, bro. Say it. Why? Oh, because you're from YouTube. Georgia. Oh, yeah, don't <laughs> nah, say we, it. Because of YouTube. The, the video's been getting demonetized. Do it so they have to. Do don't it. say it. He's the a, ultimate he, roast. He's a, bigger, he's a bigger liability than having Nicki Minaj as a regular on the show right now. <laughs> Bro, uh, for real, bro. Who's on your shirt? What is that? Some random white bitch, bro. I don't... What is it? Oh, it's a gentleman's club. Is that a real place? Is that like somewhere you went? I mean, bro, like, I see shirts online and buy them. You know what I'm saying? I don't... Oh. If it's it... a great shirt. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I bro. actually am surprised how much ass they're showing on the shirt for some reason. It's just stretching it's on great. his stomach. Heck yeah. <laughs> Mitch, you are two cheeseburgers away from my size. Get the fuck out of here. And that is a number two in McDonald's, I know. Right, so right. Yeah. That is. <laughs> hey. D Madness. That was right on. Right <laughs> he probably on. went to Juilliard to learn that shit. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You didn't get what you deserve. He said he went to Fooly Yard. That's pretty good. That's that's good. That was cool. Yeah. David, what else is going on? What else is going on in your uh, world? At the AT&T Center this Saturday oh, and Oh, wow. Friday. They're finally fixing their Wi-Fi there? What's going on? <laughs> what are you doing at the, the AT&T? AT&T Center in San Antonio and then next week Denver uh, on the Thick Boy Tour with Brendan Shop. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, Thick yeah. Boy. Yeah. Thick Boy. You know what I'm saying? You had to add another C to it when you joined the tour. Uh, <laughs> I love it. All right. I Anything else, me. David? What else is going on? It's Should been a while since we've seen you, right? Or were you here last week? I can't remember. I can't remember either. They bro. all blend was together I now. I was. Yeah. D Madness. He, he, he never forgets a face. Now <laughs> 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 uh, nah, that's about it, man. Performing around the country on the Thick Boy tour. How uh, was? How's hanging out with Brendan Schaub and the crew? Like, does he make you work out all all day? Or yeah, he work- makes people like eat healthy and do shit, right? Yeah, we've been working out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, eating. We healthy. can tell. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I could probably outdo you in push-ups, Mitch. Oh! <laughs> How many of you want to see these guys have a picture? (laughs) 
All right. All right. Yeah. Hold on. I'll hold do on, it. Hold on. Mitch has some weird disclaimer he wants to do. I'll do it, but we shotgun a beer first. Whoa! I love it. In honor of the last comedian, a, they we, are shotgunning one straight to the face. We need a we need a pocket knife. I know somebody. Nah, that's a pen. I need a pocket knife. Here you go. Here you go. I got you right there. I got a real Texas knife now, Shane. <laughs> Whoa, Jesus. Uh, it reminds me of Janice. <laughs> All right. This is... <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's so fun. All right. They're shotgunning a beer. There's a lot left in that one. All right, here they go. One, two, three, four. You guys got to go down more. Oh! Wow. Wow. Wow, David Lucas. Wow. Okay. Whoa, very well, good. You Thank agreed you. to that? And you could only do five? I just want <laughs> you fucking idiot. But I, I know I can shotgun a beer. Yeah. yeah. But when he, the challenge was issued, if you knew you could only do, like, if he was like, "Hey, you want to do a run a mile?" I'd I like, beat him in a race too. No. Oh, it, I remember that. Thing. I beat him in a race. I was there for that. The, the yeah. point of being a guest on the panel is to make the comedians look good. I hey. sacrifice. I'm a martyr. That's right. <laughs> yeah. True. I'll give you that. <laughs> and I got the shotgun a beer. <laughs> well, you can you can just shotgun a beer, whatever you want. Yeah, you probably but right. But you had four push-ups in your back pocket, and you're like, <laughs> you were like, all right, call. Here's the thing. <laughs> the Shane, how many you got? I'm not doing push-ups here. <laughs> The last time 20. I did put the last time Whoa, I did Oh, wait a second. He thinks he can do 20. There's no way. There's be Oh! Oh, he's leaving. Oh, he's He's, he's leaving. going to pee. He's going to pee. <laughs> yeah. He's snapping one off. Yeah, he's going to do In the woman's restroom. All right. It's okay. It's all right, Red Band. Uh, I actually had a lot of fun. Thank you very that much. That was fun as fuck. Yeah. That was incredible. Both of you are having heart attacks right now, thanks to uh, <laughs> your showmanship here. It's incredible how cool you're both playing it while I'm watching you both sweat from your noses right now. Man, we got to let this motherfucking uh, stick figure stop talking to us like this. It is fun. Like, we have an excuse for not being able to do push-ups. Tony only has a push-up 13 pounds, and he still probably can't do yeah. more than five. yeah. I mean, hey, we all have things. I mean, David Lucas's arms are only six inches long, so <laughs> this guy's built like a fucking T-Rex over here doing push-ups. He only went down three inches each time. Tony, you probably can't even lift the blanket off of you when you go to sleep. <laughs> that motherfucker got a call for help when he wake up in the morning. <laughs> Red band, I'm up. Come, I'm come up. help me. Somebody get me out of this fucking bed. <laughs> <laughs> I seen him struggling to take a band-aid off. Oh. <laughs> Smithers. That's true. That's true. Well, David, I absolutely love you. Shane's back and he didn't wash his hands like a typical white guy. Is that a white guy thing too? Hell we, yeah, yeah. Because our dicks are clean. Oh my god. All right. We'll be right back after these <laughs> messages. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that another white stereotype I didn't know about? We don't wash our hands White and then we go making hands, casseroles after I did, that? I did not wash my hands. <laughs> hey, take I'll a be truthful with you guys. Aren't white guys known not for wash not washing hands. their hands after they pee? Yes, exactly. You want to know what you guys are known for? Baby oh. mamas. <laughs> I got to go pee now. I'll be back. <laughs> That's our biggest sin, not washing our hands? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, my God. David Lucas, ladies and gentlemen, a monster out there doing it, living the dream. 
Comes to Austin all the time. He's our man. On to the next one we go. You guys having fun out there? Yes. All right, this is a fun name. Put your hands together for Festum QB. Festum QB. Wow. All right, here comes Festum QB. <laughs> One more time for Festum QB, everybody. Here he is. Can we all stand up and three seconds silence to honor all the cones that got killed by the stupid drivers? <laughs> okay. right. if, if you want to sign up for gay, the line is at the beer pong. If you want to get good at this, you have to moister the rim of the cup. <laughs> so, I'm a truck driver. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Some people are transgender, and we have a lot in common, uh, starting from the T, trans, and then we do transport, they transform, <laughs> and when it comes to restrooms, people treat truck drivers just like transgenders. Nobody lets you use the restroom, but I actually feel like I have transgendered 100%, like... Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop you. I'm gonna stop you, Festum. You're way over. I'm done, I'm done. I've I'm been done. fighting. You got a little bit more? Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Five seconds or five minutes? This thing. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> I transformed 100% to a woman. Like, you guys don't let me use the restrooms, and I have to drive from one state. To another state. You know what seconds okay, mean? Steak is shit. In English? Fest, Festum. Festum QB. That's Festum QB, everybody. That was his time. This is very, very exciting. I'm going to be honest with you, Festum. Everybody in the room thinks that went terrible. I absolutely loved it. It's okay. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Thank you. Thank I got to be honest with you. For a guy, I, for someone to sign up for this show after learning English on the way here uh, is You're absolutely incredible. <laughs> Where, how long have you been in America? What the fuck are you doing here? Ten years. Um, really? Yeah. Do you, do you, where are you from? Are you from like Louisiana or what? Like what? <laughs> are you uh, Operation Paperclip? What are you doing? <laughs> where are you from? I'm, I'm from Kosovo. I'm Albanian from Kosovo. Kosovo. Yeah. Okay. And you live with your Kosovian family? No, I live by myself. Really? In, in USA. Texas? No, in USA. In USA. All yes. right. <laughs> All right. Ten years. This is still how he responds. Yeah, Fucking. because I live in my truck, so I do long hauls. I live in my truck. Oh, my have God. You, you're uh, being serious. So I'm serious. Have oh, wow. You, uh, I live in the USA. That's what it means. Have you I live in the USA. Else? I just drive truck. I never learn anything or do anything. Exactly. That's true. <laughs> wow. Holy shit. You ever see Borat? Yeah. <laughs> You're going to like it. I love it. One you of my... <laughs> yeah. So were you just dropping something off at H-E-B and you decided to swing by? Or? Exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. I love your style. I even wrote down an entire joke of yours as it happened. Right. Want to sign up for gay? <laughs> the line is beer pong. He ain't wrong. It's funny. I just I saw Tony scribbling feverishly, beer pong. <laughs> so that's how I sign up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's true. That's what I do. I'm secretly gay, everybody. <laughs> I've been gay the whole time, but I keep it a big secret, and we all laugh about it every week. <laughs> yeah, it's not a secret, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
Seriously, though, I am. I am actually gay, everyone. Uh, I'm happy That's to. fine. I play beer pong all the time. I hope your family accepts you. Festum you know. QB, is that your real name? No. No. No, I'm sorry. So you escaped Kosovo. You came by yourself. How did, you, how did you pull that off? Kosovo is a war-torn region. Am I correct? Yes, yeah. in I survived the war. So. What was it like when you left there? It was good because it happened like 10 years later when I left Kosovo. So. You just saw the writing on the wall. Yeah. You're like, I got to no, get out of here. I, I, I got a visa, so... And then right. I decided to stay. I have like, a MasterCard. Don't fucking brag, dude. Oh. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Airstrike. And you can actually read. So that's fest him, fest him, fest him. So you've been driving trucks this whole 10 years? Uh, six years. Six years. And you listen to podcasts? You know where you're at right now? Yes, of course. Wow. How did this happen? And you, have, you always, have you ever done comedy before anywhere? Yeah, like, I don't want to say like three years but I did like a year and a half and then COVID and I haven't done it. Like, Where were you doing it before? Just on your stops, like on the truck routes? Yeah, or? not yeah. really. Where? Chicago, New York, okay. Miami, so yeah. All right. Is there a specific thing that you tend to haul around the country other than a bunch of a gibberish? <laughs> <laughs> Is there like a specific thing that you tr- drive? <laughs> like children? <laughs> not really. Like whatever they put inside, I don't care. Whatever Just they put the inside. Door. That's wow. how I feel about my gay butthole. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever they put inside. Doesn't matter to me. As long as it's a penis. You know what I mean? As long as you moisture. Like, right. Uh, Fast him. Wait, what the fuck did he say? Why is everybody laughing? I have no idea. <laughs> they don't know either. <laughs> did he say that in... Uh, what was that? the word you used wrong about... Uh, moisture, moisture. Like, yeah, but you used the word wrong about... No, it was moisture. That's moisture? Yeah. If you want the you moisture... All right. This is my favorite scene from the movie Midsommar. That's true. <laughs> so, Festum, what's your love life like out there on the road, talking like you do? What's it like out there? You know what I discovered <laughs> since, <laughs> since I started driving truck? Lot Lizard. Yes. Really? Yeah, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Sex is actually a word. You can write it, you can text it, and you can carve it. You said, but I, oh, wow. It, is, you, this is, he's, it he, is not a verb. That's what it's covered. Did you say you could carve it? Yes. You can carve sex. Sex on the stone. Like Where I'm sex. from in Kosovo, we carve it in the pieces of wood instead of having it. Yes. <laughs> and then we masturbate all over it. That's uh, what are you talking about? When's the last time you got laid? You get yourself any grade A corn-fed American puss yet? No, no, no. No? You haven't had sex with an American woman? Of course I have. Oh, you, so you have. Okay, it's all very confusing when you don't know American English. Uh, so, like, when's the last time you had sex with a woman? Three months ago. Three months ago. Where was that at? With my wife. Oh! My, my wife? Yeah. <laughs> with my wife? Yeah. What? She is number one lot lizard. <laughs> <laughs> what is uh, what does your wife do for work, Festum? Nothing. Just she does nothing. Yeah, you I just take care everything. of her. You That's don't fine. allow her to, right? That's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Whoa, did you oh. just dab there for a second? What was that? He does What was that move you just did? He he fist bumped, so. He fist bumped, so. So I act Whoa. like black guy, do. <laughs> <laughs> but... <laughs> Why so I do a cool dance I, like a black guy after I, we do the hand the pound. Wait, why are you doing an Asian accent now? I'm not, you bum. <laughs> <laughs> I see once in rap video. Are you uh, <laughs> are you a white Muslim? No, I'm pagan. So pagan? you're pagan? Yeah, I believe in wow. many gods. Wow, who would have guessed that? Is that like a witch? I think a pagan? so. Yeah. No, 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 no. It's just you believe in many gods. We so. worship uh, the sun and. <laughs> <laughs> you play any? Uh, you play any wacky uh, Kosovian instruments like a not uh, really not a sitar this. or anything like that? No. <laughs> yeah, it's what Nothing. they they get down in Kosovo. Yeah. You know this shit. You guys know any Kosovian I'm, music? I'm just tired, like <laughs> this. Just a hard no. Ninety nine times out of a hundred, they'll improvise something. Yeah. All three of them are like no. <laughs> No on Kosovo. I'm trying to hypnotize this guy. So no, no, it's okay. I oh, it. you son of a bitch! <laughs> you son of a bitch! You're doing shit over there. Uh, Festum, did someone tell you that uh, that uh, 
Like, what made you want to get into stand-up comedy in the first place? How old are you? 31. Wow, 31. Holy hey, shit. Kosovo ages a motherfucker. <laughs> what? You like, see, what 10 years in Kosovo is seven years in America. <laughs> Tony, he told you he's a truck driver. Anything would be better than being a truck driver. He was like, oh, That's I can just true. talk to people? Let me try that shit out. 31 do you, years uh, old. Do you practice your routine on the CB radio? Like, lot, Breaker 1-9, two guys walk A's. into a bar. You guys need to drive truck, you too, because you would never be in trouble. Like on the CB radio, oh. the shit that goes on over there. Oh, we can... <laughs> Holy shit. Smokey in the bush. We never would have... That's it, then we found out the secret. We're going to go start our show on <laughs> CB radio. I love it. Festum. I love it. Does everyone in your family age poorly? Why do you look like your own father right uh, now is what I'm trying to figure I out. I don't know. I don't know, man. Do you have any okay. kids? None. I have a seven-year-old. Looks like 32. What do you want? <laughs> Festum, you're a wild, wild man. I like your style. A lot of people, they fucking, uh, you know, this, oh. that, different shapes and sizes. <laughs> you coming out here really barely having any grasp on how to speak the language. It is mind-boggling, your heart and your soul. Actually, actually, I wrote two books, so if you want to buy it. You wrote two books? Yes. yes. <laughs> I will buy that book right now if it's on Amazon. <laughs> it's on Amaz- I Amazon. I write a book yeah. called Cat in Hat. Is it? Uh, <laughs> no, just. <laughs> can I buy it online? Yeah, you can buy it online. <laughs> All right, t- yeah. tell me where to go. I'll do it right no, just now. Just my name. It's Festem Familiarte. Oh, shit. Here we go. We are I, all right, looking at this sell, book at the same my, time. Please. Festum what? Familiarte. You have to spell it, you it's son of a bitch. F- F- A-M- A-L- what? How do you Festum. spell your last name? F A F A A. No, no, no. F A G G F F. O T. Add two drinks. Add two drinks. Add two drinks. Hold on. You're typing it into the wrong device. No. We need it over here, Festum, you fucking idiot. No, 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 no. <laughs> Wait, You're just showing Mitch your name. It's not, it's, 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 it's not on Amazon? It is. It is. Okay, well, fucking just put it in. He here. doesn't know how to, go he types there. like he He doesn't he know how to spell his own name, and he wrote a book. <laughs> I feel so much better about myself right now. Festum. Festum. Festum, can if you hear over, me? I got it. All right. Which one? That this one? This one is both of them. This Jesus one right here? Oh, right. Fucking Christ. One, yeah, it's... Hold on. <laughs> no. It's I'm, $30. Okay. No, no. no. <laughs> the I, fuck, Vestum? But, but, let but... Let me see this fucking... But, but it is... It give, is me the, give me this. It's four... You, I'm not going to let you buy a $30 book on my vault. Oh, we're going to look at it right here. So Mitch, you right. fucking <laughs> idiot. I'm not going to buy a, a fucking I'm going to buy the one on Kindle because it's only $4. And the secret frequency of love. This is that's, you? That, that's for children, yeah. Wait, you haven't what? fucked in three months. Hold on, that's, hold on. Mitch, know. Mitch, I have like there 80 questions is. for this guy now. Hold on a second. There are two books. One is for adults. That's Lost in American Dream. And that one is for children. So Wait. When I publish this... So. The frequency oh. of love is for children? No, no, no. Yeah. So How love- are you so much funnier right now than you were the 11 minutes before this? Who Wait, knows? It, Maybe add some drinks. Yeah, like a wacky one for pedophile. Yeah. No, the- this is for adults. <laughs> oh, wow. Wait. Wait. Just a Bosnian truck driver writing kids' love books? Uh, I'll be- <laughs> Frequency of fuck? love. If you are under 13, I want to get off at your interstate. What? <laughs> wow. All right, Festum, you're a wild man, dude. Festum, what are you talking about in there? Hey, you should read the book. I'm not going to read your fucking book. Yeah, I can't. I bought it. You bought it? I bu- but, but I charged it to my sister's Amazon account. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, but I bought the one on Kindle. All right, Festum, we're going to keep it moving. Put the mic back in the mic stand. There he goes, this American uh, Kill Tony debut. Book? Thank you, guys. Festum QB. Shenkui. All right. It's not easy to do this, people. How many of you remember Brianna from earlier, huh? Not easy. 
Not easy to do, even if you speak English. Your next comedian goes by the name of Israel Garcia, everyone. Here we go. Israel Garcia. What up, what up, guys? Hey, um, my favorite restaurant to go to is the Olive Garden. You know, the only problem that I have with the Olive Garden is like, why are they so stingy with the fucking cheese? Like, you can't serve your own cheese at the Olive Garden, you know? They got everything else at the Olive Garden. They got unlimited salad. They'll stuff your face with that shit. Like, hi, guys, welcome to the Olive Garden. You get all the cheese you want at the Olive Garden. But as soon as you ask for some cheese, they're like, whoa, it's like still down there, buddy. This guy wants some more cheese. It's like, it's Olive Garden, sir, okay? It's just Olive Garden cheese, not government cheese, all right? We don't just pass that shit around. And then when they do give you cheese, like, what do they do? They bust out this fucking contraption, like, from the 18th century. They got to crank it to get the fucking cheese out. And that sucks because I like a lot of cheese on my food, you know? But I start feeling bad for this 60-pound waitress that can't crank for shit, you know? You're like, hi, can I have some cheese? Like, yeah, sir, don't worry about it. Let me just get my contraption here and set that up for you. It's like, no, don't worry about it. <laughs> you tell me when, sir. You tell me. I'm like, bitch, keep going. You're not done. Okay, you tell me. Anyways, guys, thank you. That's Israel my time. Holy shit, thank everybody. <laughs> really fun. Made us all miss the guy that can't speak English. Yeah. So. <laughs> Pretty incredible. Israel, how long have you been doing stand up? Uh, about 15 years. Nuh uh. Yeah. You suck. No, and you know what? That's my fucking closer, guys. That's no. about. No, it's not. As shitty as it gets. Yeah. It's <laughs> Come on, Israel. Yeah, I know. It really is 15 years. Are you serious? Where, yeah, yeah. where have you been doing this for 15 years? Um, all over the fucking country, dude. It's pretty intense. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I just did the creek in the cave. Okay. Like, Has anyone ago. ever told you to slow down? Well, yeah, but I only had a minute, so I fucking freaked out, you know what I mean? You're like, you're out. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Israel, what's your story? How old are you? I'm um, 34. 34 years old. What yeah. do you do for work? I'm a stand-up comedian. I do that fucking... Uh, yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> no. Yeah, I, I do it for a living, man. I don't know. How do you do this for a living, man? <laughs> yeah, I just fucking do it. I, don't, I tour with a guy named John Polar Bear. He's from Austin, Texas. He's actually from here, so... Have you guys we, ever heard of John Polar Bear before? Yeah, 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 yeah. John Polar Bear. Make some noise if you've heard of John Polar Bear, <laughs> no. who he opens for. <laughs> Don't let these guys trash your dreams, dude. Yeah, yeah. No, I've been I mean, to Olive Garden, and they are a little stingy with the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I think Thank you, got you Shane. Yes, yeah. I, uh, I think you got I'm something got... working here. Tony, I, I, I can't believe I'm thinking about getting a regular job while this guy is out here just touring the country. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what are know. you doing? I don't know. I don't know. Well, uh, I'm from El Paso, Texas, so I moved over here. Yeah, so. Okay. So maybe I have like Mexican, you know, like we gotta give him a job, you know. So. Wow. Is, is your is your is your comedy better in Spanish? It could be. I mean, it. it you know. I you know do, mama's way. I way, bitchy Do you? What do you, the hell, you're fucking Israel? Up here, up here, up here. Uh. <laughs> So you've been doing this, and you make enough money to survive? Yeah, yeah, pretty good, man. Ha, uh, <laughs> how? I mean, I'm unlimited breadsticks, man. <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of place do, you live how in? How often does John Polar Bear, like, uh, or whatever, uh, put you to work? Like, is that we're, a full, we're on tour, like, all, all, all the, the time. time. Yeah, how yeah. How long you been touring with him? Uh, maybe, like, the last two years. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's mm -hmm. awesome. And you guys go all around America. <laughs> yeah. And you do yeah. stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I just I have some other material, you know, which also could be kind of good. But all right, yeah, all I appreciate right, Israel. It. And yeah. you live here in Austin. This is your main hub. No, I'm in, I'm from San Antonio, so it's like real close. So I just come out here and shit. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you have like a short joke. You have like one. In 15 years, I'd imagine that you have uh, like one short joke, like less than 20 seconds, that would blow uh, all of oh. our minds, and we'd be like, <laughs> "Now I get it." Right? No, I mean, I really don't. But I got a really fucked up on that. I don't know if you guys want to hear. You know but it mean? sounds I, long. It's uh, is yeah. It? I just have a long setups and stuff like that. Oh. You know, I'm really. Have you ever thought about perhaps joke. trimming the size of these setups? No, but I don't know. This is my first time coming out here, so it's. I mean, I was all like, "Holy <laughs> shit!" A lot like, of people have, that I, think I don't have a fucking story. Sorry, dude. I'm not a fucking Russian truck driver, dude. I'm just fucking. I'm from El Paso, dude. I'm a Mexican, and I come and do stand up. <laughs> yeah, but the fucking Kosovo truck driver that didn't speak yeah, English yeah. still knew how to condense it a little bit. Yeah. 
word economy. You got to yeah, trim yeah. the fat. Israel, yeah, what do you do for fun? What's a, what? A, what else about you other than stand up comedy? Fifteen years. Well, um, I like I like um, I like uh, fucking I like doing a lot of shit, man. I like to get fucked up. I like to drink. You know what I mean? I like fucking. <laughs> That's about it, dude. I like drinking and watching stand-up comedy pretty much, honestly. Like, very, very that's interesting. What I do, What's the yeah. most fucked up you ever got? Biggest mistake you ever made? You ever get arrested? Uh, I fucked a really fat girl one time. Like, she was, like, super ugly and fat. You know what I mean? But it was cool because, like, she had, like, a parrot. You know what I mean? Tattoo. But then I woke up and it was, like, a pterodactyl, dude. So it was pretty... pretty that's one of your up. bits, isn't it? That's one of yeah, your yeah. Bits. <laughs> oh, boy. Israel. You're the only Israel I've ever known that wish got blown up. <laughs> Yeah, Could have said that better. Yes. You're even making my setups clunkier than yeah. they need to be. <laughs> Shit's airborne out here. Oh, yeah, dude. The I social know. distance was, from your setups, oh, yeah, I wasn't dude. A, yeah, man. I appreciate it, dude. <laughs> hey, what's your, uh, what's your backup plan? Um, I don't really have one, dude. I really don't. It's just stand yeah. up all the way. No, yeah. we could tell. If you had a backup plan, you would have done it by now. Yeah. Uh, 15 years. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Very good. That's a lot of... Yeah. Uh, I, I, on a serious note, I am uh, moving to Wichita Falls, Texas. So if you and Polar Bear need a, a host sometime, yeah, man, right on, dude. We'll <laughs> Let me know, we'll dude. I'll, I'll dude, come out with you. Yeah, what the sure, fuck? fuck? <laughs> All right, uh, there he goes, Israel Garcia. Everybody, yeah, literally, Israel, take one of those. Take one of those, Israel. Fucking take your joke book, you son of a bitch. Here you go. It's coming right at you. Wow, that's the business for you, people. Somehow that was more depressing than that guy's dad. (laughs) Yeah, really was. Yikes. To think that guy's dad hasn't killed himself. It's really, really sad. Should we go to the bucket one more time? What do you guys think, huh? All right. Shannon D. Sims, everyone. Shannon D. Sims is next on Kill Tony. This one's deep. Here we go. Make some noise for Shannon Sims, everyone. I can't believe y'all let two autistic people up here in a row. That's... (laughs) What are the odds? Uh... (laughs) Do you guys uh, have that family member you can't stand? Anybody? Yeah? Makes you drink anytime they come in the room? Mine's is my four year old niece. I just, <laughs> I can't stand that bitch. <laughs> we get into it at family functions. She's like, my favorite color is red. And I'm like, my favorite color is blue. And she's just like, your color is stupid. And I'm like, I'll put on subtitles on SpongeBob, bitch. I will end you. Like, <laughs> turn off the sound. I'm God. Uh, <laughs> but no, last time we had a family function, uh, she was having a little play date. And uh, they are arguing over who is going to be the uh, Red Ranger. And I was like, I'll, I'll be the Red Ranger. It's fine. And sadly, she was like mid power up. So she was like, uh, you cannot be the Red Ranger because you are bald. And uh, I don't know if you guys have ever been dissed by a voguing four-year-old, but uh, <laughs> it hits different. Uh, <laughs> family's laughing and shit. And I was just like, if only we had the money for that abortion. I just... <laughs> I'm kidding. I told her she was adopted. I come on. <laughs> That's it. That's all I got. Shannon Sims, everyone. Shannon D. Sims. Shannon, welcome to the show. This is your first time joining us, correct? That is true. Absolutely. How long have you been doing stand up? Uh, about three years. Three years. All of it here in Austin? Yes, sir. All right. What do you do for work? <laughs> I, I work with uh, children. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You literally could have said that any other way and it would have been less creepy than how you did it. I work with them. (laughs) How do you say? Children. The finest pussy. The most gorgeous children in the world. My little... Your little baby beauties. uh, (laughs) The most beautiful little things. It's too bad there's not a Rainbow Ranger, you know? I think you could have nailed that one. <laughs> yeah. That right. would have been there you go. Put it on brand. Thank you. Uh, Shannon D. Sims, uh, what do you exactly do you do with children? I work with special needs kids. Wow, so they're special needs children. That's like twice the trouble. <laughs> children and special needs. 
Yeah. Uh, what do you do? Like, you teach them? Like, how does that work? What do you do? Uh, for the most part, I just assist them in class. Like, keep okay. them focused. And All right. Stuff like Is there that. anything special you have to do? You have to, like, tap them on their helmets or something like that? <laughs> A lot of slobber. Hey, keep paying thing. attention. I mean... <laughs> You'd be surprised how, how often I have to Thank say. Thank you, Michael Gonzalez, for the sound of tapping on a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> One more I, time for you. I would like to point out that some woman got real wet back there when he was like, I just help them with everything they need. I get it, dude. This guy, he's got a fucking nose ring, earring, helps special needs kids. It's kind of hot. You could tie balloons <laughs> to that. <laughs> kind of hot. Terrible comedy, but kind of hot. <laughs> <laughs> Probably too hot for comedy. Yeah, that's why you stink. Do you ever That's accurate. <laughs> I wish I was as ugly as you. I just <laughs> it helps. It helps tremendously. I probably would be on tour with this other guy. <laughs> what is that accent? Uh, White. <laughs> <laughs> if you, if you look around the room, I have to adjust. Uh, <laughs> no, you. You sound like, you, like you Black do. Panther. He does. He does. T'Challa. Yeah, you sound like T'Challa. <laughs> All we right. don't all look alike. I don't, I, don't. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck you guys are talking about anymore down here. Uh, so, uh, Shannon, what's something interesting about your life? Tell us about you, personally. Uh, single, uh, belong to the streets for the most part. What does that uh, mean exactly? I don't believe yeah. that. <laughs> what do you mean by belong to the streets? Uh, if they call, I answer violently, usually. Uh, what do you mean by that? Shirt, uh, I'm just going to keep saying, what do you mean by that? Until I get to... <laughs> Something. Uh, just you know, like if a girl calls, I'm coming. You know, it's just that's okay. why I'm not good at stand up. Are you a pimp? Uh, no. Well, what does if a girl calls, I'm coming? I mean, mean. <laughs> <laughs> that was hell good. yeah. I don't know. It's just like you know. Are you like I, a? Are you like a? What, what some would call a player? Yeah, something like that. Okay. The whitest version of that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have you have you have a bunch of girls that call. Not not uh, near. No, I. It's the whitest version. Not a lot of them call. That's the problem. <laughs> it's the light version, not the dark version. All right. Okay, that's cool. What else? What do you do for fun? You dress uh, like a lesbian. That's exciting. Yeah. Very rarely. Very few people. Of all the things that. To take from a lesbian, the, their style is an interesting pick. So. This is my grandma's blouse, and I just yeah, cut absolutely. it. Absolutely, put some. I love it. Uh, no, uh, something interesting. I, I used to uh, male dance uh, for a period of time. What does that mean exactly? Like strip? Yeah, something like oh, that. Oh wow! Look at that. They want to see it. How many of you think we should get I'm a little a taste of what anymore. Shannon Sims used to do? I don't. I don't do that anymore. <laughs> I work with children. Yeah. Go right ahead. Put the mic in the... (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah. Oh! Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Incredible eye contact we're seeing here. Whoa! Wow, this shit is going down. (laughs) Wow. Just slapped him! (laughs) The eye contact from Shannon Sims is powerful. Mitch Burrow just went on Kill Tony the Ride. We're testing that that out for amusement parks around the country right now. That is one of the top three lap dances I've ever got. (laughs) From a man. Wow. (laughs) I do do want to point out that he grabbed my my right leg and he lifted up and he was like, yep, not going to get the other one. Yeah, it ain't happening. (laughs) Felt, Felt the strain. You were shaking already. Absolutely <laughs> incredible. I did, I did not see that playing out that way whatsoever. I did not either. I am soaking wet right Hell now. Hell yeah. 
That's what he does. I mean, that's a move. You poured your your beer on Mitch, like like he Mitch yeah. could have got really pissed off and just like grabbed you, you know? and fucked you in the ass. Yeah, it but was really it, disrespectful. It, but I am so hard right now. <laughs> it's so true. It's going to be hard to explain that one to your friends. Like, well, yeah, one of the people pulled out of the bucket, poured a beer on one of the guests. Like, oh, my God, then what happened? Well, they almost fucked. Uh, <laughs> Don't say almost just yet. Hey. There's still some show left. Yeah, that's true. And Hans Kim has taught us there is a broom closet here at Vulcan Gas <laughs> Company. All right. There, Shannon, amazing performance. Way to get Thank the crowd you. all riled up. Thank Shannon you. D. Sims. Shannon... Take, how did Shannon do? Was it, he gets a big one for doing that. Shannon, That's there you awesome. go. You you earned it, dude. Take the big... Oh, there you go. Wow. Incredible. Sorry, I just, it just looks like I threw a fucking book at Shannon. Everybody. <laughs> what do you think this is going to I don't to? know. I didn't ask for it. I just... These fucking red band hands me shit. Oh, thank God I got this towel. <laughs> it's for your forehead to be like, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> What do you want, D? What do you want? I'll get you something. A Crown Royal and Coca-Cola for D Madness, everybody. I heard it's okay. All right. D Madness? Yeah, that's D Madness back there. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Tortured. D Madness. D, D Blindness. Yes, he's blind, Shane. <laughs> Shane, is he blind? D Blindness would be a more appropriate... <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. I apologize. It's crazy how he, he It's Thank crazy you. how he turns his head directly at you when he responds to you. Like he knows exactly where you are so like a bat with sonar. <laughs> hey Tony. Because of Shane's last appearance on this show, I, I told myself I'm gonna drink more Bud Light than Shane does. Yeah, how's it going? <laughs> yeah. I fucked up. Yeah, dude. You almost got butt fucked three minutes ago, dude. <laughs> Trying to keep up with the bull over here. I'll get you, you in three trouble. Three push-ups, a black guy fucked you. It's, it's, it's not going great. I'm living the American dream. Oh. Woo! Hell yeah. Mitch Burrow out here trying to run with the bull Shane Gillis. So that'll get you in trouble every time. All right. You guys ready to put a big ribbon on this episode or what, huh? This is our final regular of the night. Every single week, he debuts a brand new minute of stand-up comedy. He's an absolute fucking monster. The longest standing regular in the history of the show. He opened for me all weekend here. He opens for Joe Rogan. He's a freak. It's the Big Red Machine, William Montgomery. Here we go. The Vanilla Gorilla. This is William Montgomery. Remember that movie where Mickey Mouse of the NYPD is visiting his estranged wife, Minnie Mouse, and they go to the Nakatomi Plaza in Los Angeles for a Christmas party, but Minnie and several others get taken hostage, hostage by German terrorists? Still hard to believe Mickey was cast for that role. I thought that was going to go better. Excited to announce I'm guest hosting Murphy Brown next week. <laughs> Hunter Biden was apparently moved to tears when he saw the Afghani buildings burning on t TV, to which he replied, wait, burning buildings? I thought they were burning the poppy fields. <laughs> it's weird. Y'all are going to like this one. This is a funny one coming up. It's weird you don't hear much from Tinkerbell anymore, or as the tabloids call her, Wrinkle Bell. <laughs> oh, God. I got way too fucking high before this. I do have great news, Tony. Amy yeah. O from last week, we got engaged. Oh, wow. We're that, engaged. That's incredible. People love Miss Amy O. She's wild. She brought a whole bag of tricks last week. She did, yeah. We went back to her apartment after the show. We started kissing. I asked uh, for her hand in marriage. She said yes. So we're pretty excited. I think next, next October we're getting married. Wow, next October. 
Ooh, la la. And did you guys, did you guys hook up at all? What do you do? You do. Sometimes we will lick each other. <laughs> lick? Uh, yeah, lick each other like on our stomachs. We do that some. Um, is Amy here? We can actually do that up yeah, here. Yeah, she's I'm right kidding. over there. She's right over there. I'm ki- I was kind of kidding. <laughs> no, bring her up. <laughs> hey, hey, William. Miss Amy O's a wild one. If she comes up here, there's like no getting that microphone back, William. She's Where crazy. are you, Amy O? Oh, hello, Amy. Hold on. What is she doing? Here she comes, everybody. She's half, half invited. No, no, no. no, no. Oh, my gosh. Oh, How wow. are you? Here you go. Yeah, well, you should... <laughs> no, 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 no. Stop it, Red Band. <laughs> Red band, stop it. Yeah. Miss Amy O. <laughs> Miss Amy O, how are you? Kiss. There, there was... <laughs> Kiss. Wait, don't hand her the microphone. William, you have to do it like Joe Rogan whoa, whoa. does it with fighters after they fight. <laughs> you have to hold the microphone in front of her face. She's a wild one, dude. She'll fucking jump off the stage with that. Uh, well, it was fun. We got married. Miss Amy O, is this true? Are you marrying William Montgomery? What's the charge of polygamy? I mean, <laughs> oh, hold on, that's yeah. not what we agreed you would say on here. Amy, we ain't planned this shit out earlier. Nobody planned. We had planned for something else. Why'd you just mess that up already? It was gonna be hilarious. Why did you? What do you? I, what, what type of whistle do you have there, Amy? What is that in your hand? What type of weapon is that? This is a instrument that I used to use to teach children. <laughs> how to what? How to give hand jobs? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> now, Miss Amio, you famously made your Kill Tony debut. I believe it was four weeks ago. You were on once, and then you were on last week. Um, both were absolutely so crazy that you've become like a pop culture reference here on this show. Uh, your first time was in front of Shane Gillis here. You remember that? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. What? <laughs> She's basically female Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Pennsylvania. <laughs> Yes, Pennsylvania, great state. I remember it well. <laughs> Pennsylvania, I love Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania loves me. Yeah. Wow. If you, if, you, if you view her in that context, it's pretty fun. Yeah. Shane, it's you're going to have to stop. This may turn into a mistake. <laughs> what? She wasn't supposed to come up here and then mess with you like that. This seriously has turned into a mistake of some sort. Oh, what did you just say about her? He's defending his woman. Seriously, what did you just say? I don't know if I heard that correctly. He's very defensive of his woman. I apologize. Okay, thank you. William, you think you're going to... Uh, William, have you thought about perhaps uh, getting her pregnant, making a sweet little... Mid- she is pregnant. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. This is just weird on every level, everybody. <laughs> William's... How? William, William's doing what we call taking chances tonight. <laughs> Hell yeah. Miss Amy O, uh, four weeks ago on the show, you said that you were sober. Is that correct? Are no, you sober? No. no. More or less. <laughs> we were doing a bunch of blow at her place last night. Seriously. <laughs> we, were, we did a bunch wow. in there. <laughs> I don't know how she had so much. She has money coming in from somewhere. Seriously. It was a serious bag we were doing last night. Is, is that true? <laughs> oh, my God. Miss Amio, is that true? Do you do a lot of cocaine? I, I like to keep secrets. <laughs> oh, you gave me the mic. You weren't supposed to give me Come the on, mic. we're not doing this. We're not doing this up by, here. By I swear way, to God, I mean, we already talked about that. Told you. But, but do you know what happened since last week, Tony? No, what happened since last week? The security had to check my purse because they thought I had a gun. Right, because you said you had a gun. You said they you were going to pull listen. out a gun. They didn't listen. I said I had felony legal guns. These guns. That's legal. I told you not to say that one. That was not a good one. Jesus. <laughs> and like most old guns, I'm guessing they don't work anymore. <laughs> Hell yeah. Look at those Winchesters she has, everybody. Those guns were used in the... Those are muskets, everyone. <laughs> Tony, you're going to have to stop. <laughs> Seriously, you're going to have to stop. This was a mistake bringing you up here. This was a horrible mistake. You don't like that I'm making fun of your lady's old guns? Not really. Wow. I love how defensive of her you get. He's William. He's working on his guns. 
Told me. Fuck it. Stop. Stop. <laughs> I told you not to fucking touch me up here. We talked about it last night. Wow. <laughs> it was a time. Miss Amy, what is that tattoo on your on your chest there? Is that a Darth Vader? What it is that? It used to be the Alcoholics Anonymous symbol. <laughs> wow. Oh my God! The Alcoholics <laughs> Anonymous symbol. And, that, and I had him fix it into a dream catcher. <laughs> wow! Look at that. That, that I is... still live by the principles, though. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. William, when you're making love to her and you see that former AA symbol turn dream catcher, what is... <laughs> it is right in my face. I honestly thought it was a swastika. Seriously, I saw it as a swastika. I didn't realize it was a dream... That's a fucking dream catcher? You lied to me about that. <laughs> Why is this all coming out now? I'm going to keep you two up here for another 45 minutes. This is great. It's I, just I comedy greatness. I don't want to disrespect anybody, but can I? I'm, I'm just going to go to the bathroom for a second. This is, this is, you could have you just gone yeah, instead of making know, it all sad, Mitch. Yeah, this is just like uncomfortable. I don't know. I William. just, just got to pee. What are you fucking talking about, Mitch? <laughs> Mitch, go pee. Mitch still has to jerk off since his lap dance, everybody. He's got... It's got blue balls right now. William. Yeah. What, what is your guys' favorite sexual position? <laughs> what uh, would you say? The one where you're both standing up? Yeah. Oh. Wait, you hold her up? And... Yeah. Oh, yeah. What I type of noises? Can, yeah, it's more of a walk around with her. What type of noises do you make during sexual Ooh. therapy? Ooh. Ah. Like, Ooh. Wow. Ooh. This guy, this guy fucks like an owl, everybody. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. <laughs> William. <laughs> and and how, about, how about you, Miss Amy O? Miss, Miss Amy O, what kind of noises do you make in the bedroom? During sexual intercourse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was my nickname, by the way, Cricket. The way I rub my legs together. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. How, did you, how the fuck, how did you make that Cricket noise like that? That was incredible. Wait, William, put William, put the mic Oh 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 okay. Well there you go. There goes there goes all uh, I I will say this. Look, I think gloss like the we glossed over it a little bit, but turning the AA tattoo into a dream catcher, Such like you had to you had to sit down and be like, nah <laughs> like, just sit down in a tattoo artist, you know. Just be like, nah, never mind. No, nah, I'm gonna get fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Were was you it, fucked up when you decided to do that? Was it the no, same actually, tattoo guy? It was my, the hundred dollars the state gave me when I made parole. I got I got three tattoos. Uh, I, well, I I had a boy. You didn't tell me you had been in fucking jail and you had a boyfriend. What are you talking about? Yes, I have been listening. You didn't tell me that shit. You've been to jail. I've only well, I was in jail and in prison. So. <laughs> wow. This is an incredible two-man show you guys have over there. Were you in jail and in prison for two different reasons, or did the jail no, lead to the prison? To jail yes, and Mitch. And then you pulled chain. You know what? Anyone here pulled chain in this room? That is a that is the lingo the for when, when when no when your number comes up and you get sent to TDC. What are you being mean to me for, you fucking bat? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, Shane. You're gonna have um, to fucking stop. Don't. This he is... called you an old bat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, whoa, whoa. what did you call her? Get her, get her. Seriously, what did you call her? Hold Put the musket away. You an old bat. Put the musket Shane. away. No, don't grab anything. William, pull her back a little bit. Grab Shane is just doing a callback to the vampire stuff from earlier. I've been My nothing God. but supportive of you. I was able to see the very clear former AA details of that tattoo. She got so close to us up here. She got so close to us, I almost fell asleep under her dream catcher. Uh, Miss Amy O, this is wild. You're like magenta is the new black or something like that. <laughs> William. William. Yeah. I, I met your mom. I, I didn't sense you had any real issues there. What happened? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think we really understand each other. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty strong connection. Uh, it's been... Redman, why would you fucking do that? I'm being dead serious. Seriously, why would you do that? That's the noise you make when you're having sex. Yeah. You make the noises of an owl. Saturday night to watch him perform. Let yes. the guy put the microphone in front of him. Yep. And then what happened? You watched him on Saturday. I watched him perform, 
and I thought he was cheating on me, so I was hiding over there, you know? Wow. God, Amy, why would you fucking say that? I think we went over that. Did you hear what happened now? It's awkward as shit. Now I'm really rethinking bringing you up here. Wow. This is turning into a horrible fucking mistake. My I thought it was going to be so funny. Now I, I'm starting to have regrets. Miss Amy, o, Miss Amy o, any parting words that you want to say to this audience here tonight? You didn't get on stage tonight. You're trying to take the microphone. I, I'm not trying to take anything but my fucking hard-earned goddamn moment on the stage. He invited me up here. Yeah, Shane has a question. Miss Very Amy, o, what are your thoughts on the Black Lives Matter movement? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like you to Shane, sell. I have experience. I brought two black men onto this earth. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Why am I just hearing that right now? Seriously, what does that mean? Oh my, <laughs> oh my god. god. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? They're gonna watch us. Is that a threat? William, you I, is that a fucking threat? What's so, seriously, what's going on? I think technically. The math just means she only brought one black man onto this earth. So. Will, William, you didn't know that she has black children? No, she had never told me that. And I specifically asked, do you have black children? And she said, fucking no. Wow. I specifically fucking asked you that. She that. said, no, they're white. Don't worry. And I was like, what? That sounds kind of weird. Well, how do you feel about that? How do you feel moving forward? It seems like there's a real spark in your eyes. When you look at her and you look back at us, it seems like, oh, my God, look at that. Yeah, it's your dream girl, a transgender Tito Ortiz over here. Uh... Tony, that was too much. That was too much. That was kind of me. Amy, why is he doing this? Look at my Seriously, God. that was a little jealousy, too much. Jealousy, jealousy. That's right. Absolutely. That's it. <laughs> Tell him, all right, well, it was so nice to see you. There they go. He's going to see her later, everybody. Yo, she's going to kill you. There you go. You Tony, don't... I honestly, I apologize. I feel like that turned into a horrible fucking mistake. No, I apologize was... for bringing her up. No, that was very, very interesting, without a doubt. You should probably start drinking again, William. What the fuck no. does that mean? No, I should probably start drinking true. again. You should probably get back on the raisin bread, though. It seems like you were, uh, you were, your life was a little bit better when you, you were deserve it. addicted to raisin bread. I think it was a lot it. better. Um, <laughs> I was eating it every fucking day. I literally, I haven't eaten a piece of raisin bread in a week. Yeah. After the sponsorship deal William, went down, William, it, William's I'm gonna, not eating that William, shit anymore. William's going to get his raisin bread tattoo turned into a Miss Amy O uh, tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, William, so nice much fun as always. Another brand new minute. Thank you so much. Guys, we did it again. That's another episode of Kill Tony. How about a hand for my... Uh, there you go. How about a hand for my friend William Montgomery, everybody? And guys, how about a hand for my guests, Shane Gillis and Mitch Burrow, everyone? Check out Shane Gillis' new special on YouTube entitled Live in Austin. And check out Mitch. He's everywhere. He's at the comedy store. <laughs> He's about to move to Wichita <laughs> Falls, yeah, Can uh, Texas. Yeah. He's moving to yeah. Texas. Yeah, if you need an airplane worked on, I can do it. So He's making give me a airplanes. Holler. Very rarely do we have a retiring young comedian as a guest <laughs> on the show. I am the <laughs> least up-and-coming comedian <laughs> He's down in the and business out. right now. Uh, but thank you guys so much fun. I'm so glad to have you here. How about a hand for the band, everybody? The Screwball Peanut Butter Whiskey Band. Screwball Peanut Butter Whiskey is the best. Matt Muling on guitar. D Madness on the bass. Michael Gonzalez on drums. And how about it? It's his first time ever on the show. Make some noise for Dalton, everybody. Thanks for coming, Dalton. Here's our drawing from Ryan J. Ebelt. Absolutely incredible. Check that out. I mean, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the guy keeps drawing me skinny, and it, it's very funny. <laughs> it it's, a, it's a compliment. He keeps drawing me like I'm not fat. And I, I couldn't even find myself. Wait a second. I look black. Ryan. I look like a black guy. <laughs> All right. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much, Austin, Texas. We love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Thank you.